Anything can be scary if you put your mind to it. A red vex apple, surrounded with rotting fruit in an otherwise pristine location. Scary. An adorable beagle puppy? Have it show up sitting on your chest every night, staring at you as you sleep, even after you've locked it outside. Scary. That thing behind you? Oh, oh, that requires no setup. That is definitely scary. <laughs> Welcome once more to our humble abode, intrepid listeners. It's good to have you with us again tonight. Your visits are becoming routine now, almost as if you were compelled to be here, spy some outside force. <laughs> ah, but perish the thought. Your will is strong, will give you that. To find the courage to consistently enter our dark domain and partake in our dishes, that takes bravery. Tonight's play is a peculiar tale of two high school students and of perspectives shifted by cosmic accident. For our protagonists, it may be hard to judge what is actually going on, though deep down one wonders if they are seeing the world for what it truly is. Of course, it's just a theory. Hey, Lucy. Oh, come on. I didn't expect you to be in on this, too. (laughs) Alright, fine. If that's how you're gonna play it. There. Oh, holy crap! Martin! You're like a ninja or something. I've been sitting here for maybe, like, ten minutes, you doof. Where did all these strings come from? Huh? I assumed you were all fucking with me. They weren't here a minute ago. Do you see them too? No. Well, I mean, yeah. I just pulled all of the string right here off of you. Didn't you... Good morning. Good morning. We're getting a later start than I thought, so I'll skip any preamble and we'll pick up where we left off last week. Turn to page 33. Miss Creighton. Miss Creighton! What the hell is with all the... It's no good. People have been ignoring me all day. Here. Hey! Hey! Hey, dumb bitch! You can't teach for shit! Ah. See? Nothing. I'm getting away from this shit. Oh, hey, Lucy, wait up! Martin, what the fuck is going on? I was hoping you could tell me. Everything was like this when I woke up this morning. Strings everywhere on everything, tied to people and, and things. Check it, over here. No one notices us, and no one notices when we take the string off things. Look, I'm going to take this guy's book right out of his hand, pull the string off, throw it on the ground. What? Bam. It's like the book never existed. Off he goes to do something else. Oh my god. I need to get outside. Right? But it's not much better out there. Martin, please. I'll show you. Oh, shit. It's gotten worse, too. This morning there were a bunch of strings, but now... Jesus Christ! Hey, 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 hey! Lucy! Lucy! Calm down. We'll figure something out. I need water! I need water! I need water! Come on. I got you. We can get some from the coffee shop. Take my hand. Okay, okay. But hurry. Hurry. I'm gonna fucking pass out. Don't you dare. Just walk carefully. We'll get around the tangles. <sighs> Just sit down here and untie the strings on the chairs. I'll grab some water. Okay. Here, 
You're not paying for it? It's not like they noticed I took it. Here, drink. Bitter? <sighs> A little. Not much. How are you so calm? Trust me, I'm not. I've just been dealing with it longer. But these strings are everywhere. Are we the only ones that see them? I thought I was the only one at first. You didn't notice me or them at all until I pulled the strings off of you. I mean, we could take them off of the people in here, but... No! I mean, no. Considering how much I freaked out, I don't want that to happen to anyone else. Hmm, good point. I just want to make sure you're okay. I wasn't expecting you to get so scared. I thought, you know... All of you were in on some sort of elaborate prank against me. Setting up all of these strings and shit. A prank? Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. Martin, you need to tell me everything that happened right now. I need to wrap my head around this or I'm going to have another panic attack. I'll try, but believe me, I'm just as confused as you. So this morning I got up, brushed my teeth, changed in the school clothes. The usual. Then I came back into my room and I saw the strings. They were... Four of them, I believe. Uh, Crisscross between the walls around my bed. One attached to the door. No way I would have missed them before. I should have tripped over them. They were tied to pins in the walls, which had also not existed before ten seconds ago. Seriously? (laughs) I told you it didn't make any fucking sense. Nobody could have been in my room while I was in it, let alone set this up. It was early and my brain wasn't processing correctly. I just discredited it, untied the strings, and left for school, leaving them balled up on my desk. Then I got outside. They were everywhere. Hundreds of strings tied between houses, around cars, across streets. I kept thinking this had to be some hidden camera show or a comedy improv blog. But it's not. No, it's not. I thought me taking your strings would get you to clear it up, but when you flipped, I realized you're in the dark too. So what? We're now the only people around without these strings? Uh, Kind of, I think. I mean, on the bus, everyone except me was tied to the door. At school, groups of friends were tied to each other. Teachers were tied to their desks and boards. At that point, all I could wonder was why I'd been left out. Now I realize that if there's not a string attached to something, those with strings don't notice it. But who did this? What is it for? I wish I knew. What the fuck do we do, Martin? Same answer. What do you think? I don't know. It's like everyone's been moving along, tangled in them tying them to objects they're walking towards and away from. Like they've been and are continuing to follow a course laid out for them. Maybe. Maybe. Oh god, what if... That woman over there. Hmm? She's gonna get that sandwich from the fridge. She pays for it and leaves. That guy doesn't plan on paying. And the servers aren't going to stop him. Watch. Following the strings. This is horrible. Hm. Let's go. Please. Where? Home. I need to sleep this off. I can't take this. Okay, I'll walk you there. Thanks. There aren't as many strings here. Yeah, I think it's because uh, we're back in the neighborhood. It's going to be busier downtown, so... So there will be more strings to follow. (sighs) Yep. Whatever the fuck it all means. Maybe we should untie someone after all. Who? I don't know. But do you have any better ideas? People need to know they're being manipulated. What if we're the ones being manipulated, Lou? Why did I get missed in the first place? And why are we now the only people not tied to anything? It's just not enough answers. It's making my head hurt. Fucking... Look. What now? Hide! What the fuck is that? It's... It's a monster. I wouldn't call that little thing a monster. What the fuck would you call it? A fucking... An imp? Maybe? I don't know. It's only like three feet tall. Hell, I thought it was a monkey for a sec. Its eyes are way too big. God, I don't even see a mouth or a nose on its head. Okay, okay. Just chill for a second. You're gonna get its attention. Wait, what's it doing? It's hammering a nail to that mailbox. And tying a string around it. 
okay, so alien imps or something are causing this. Cool. Great. Just what we fucking needed. <gasps> it's looking at us. It sees us. Hold on. Why is it just staring? Maybe it's just surprised. I'm gonna go talk to it. What? Absolutely not. Lucy, before we were afraid of the unknown, right? Now we know this little guy here has been running around sticking strings to everyone and everything. Doesn't seem like anything to be scared of. I might be able to get some answers. We don't know what that thing can do. It's got no mouth. How is it supposed to answer you? Look, I'm fucking... I'm just winging it here, okay? Just give me a chance. Stay here if you want and keep an eye on me, but I need to find out what this is about. <sighs> Fine, but you better be super fucking careful. That thing is armed. It's carrying a hammer and a ball of twine, Lucy. Seriously, I just got a feeling. Let me try this. Uh, uh hi, hi. Uh, so, you're the one in charge of the strings? All right, I uh, get there's some language barriers here, but I'll take that nod as a yes. Am I right? Okay. Huh. Looks like I'm stuck with yes or no questions, huh? Are there more of you? Can any of you speak? No. Damn. Hey, Lucy, come over here. This guy's friendly. Uh, never mind. Okay, string keeper. Why are you doing this? Right. You can't answer that one. Shit. Okay, let me be a little more specific. Are you putting everyone on some predetermined path? Did you miss me on purpose? No. Okay, do we... Do, uh, do, do we even have free will? Jesus. Martin? Come on, let's go. Wait, what did it say? What did it tell you? We need to get away from that thing. We're almost at your place. Martin, talk to me! Whatever's happening, I'm not letting that thing or any of its little friends near us again. I don't know why they're doing this, and I don't care. My life is my own. Wait, what? No. No. It didn't answer yes or no to that last question. It just looked at me, and it looked so sad all of a sudden. I just... <laughs> I'm so scared. I am too, Lou. Well, you can see them. That helps. We don't have the strings. What about everyone else? What if that's how it's always been? People being guided by strings they can't see. Oh, God. We might be the only people on the planet who know. And now that thing knows, too. I'm going to sleep. Huh? In the middle of the floor? <sighs> Lucy! Hey! Lucy! Now's not the time! We gotta figure something out! Lou? Wake up! Lou! Oh, Lucy. Wait... Wake up. Jeez. No, I gotta... Who's... Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Martin. Hey, Lou. Your mom's not still mad about this morning, is she? No. Thankfully. She was just confused why we were both passed out on the floor and I hadn't asked if I could invite you over. You know, reasonable stuff. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, though. That was that was weird. Yesterday was kind of a blur. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, we didn't do anything risque, right? No, definitely not. We'd be way more fucked up. Phew. Yeah, I figured. I did have this weird dream, though. Kind of a scary one. You too? Man, maybe we were on something. Maybe there was a gas leak. <laughs> Why? Was yours about a bunch of strings all over the place? Martin? Yeah. Yeah, it was. At least I hope it was a dream. Well, it must have been a dream. Like a weird shared dream. Because I don't see any strings anywhere. That happens, right? Shared dreams? I think so. 
I hope so. Sorry, it's just freaking me out a bit. Why? Well, it's like you said. I don't see the strings either. And it just makes me wonder if... If my actions are truly my own. No one wants to feel like a puppet, intrepid listeners. To feel strung along by circumstances outside their control. Whatever these strings are, at least this is just a strange story that has no bearing on your reality. Does it? Let's all hope that it is your choice alone that brings you to the shadows with us, and that you will return very soon for another haunting narrative. We live to serve. Until next we convene, pleasant dreams. <laughs> Midnight Marinera is a monthly podcast written, produced, directed, and mixed by David King. This episode features the voices of Peyton Pearson, Katie Patterson, and Emma Goddard. String Theory is based on the original short story attributed to Tesla. Are you gasping, groaning, clawing desperately for answers? Please, feel free to leave us feedback where you listen to this, email us at midnightmarinera at gmail.com, or follow us on Twitter or Tumblr. And hey... If you want to contribute a little extra to the show and rewind that antique music box, consider becoming a patron and supporting our Patreon with a small monthly donation. Thanks for listening.